welcome back you guys welcome back to lynette's life i am of course yours truly lynette and this is my life welcome back my beautiful gems i'm gonna say welcome back three times now yeah probably like girl what is you doing today i got more errands to run of course y'all know the only reason i'm coming at has to be a purpose anywho you see the shades misha lewis <laughs> yes of course honey is getting me right she's motivating me to wear contacts every day to try to match my top as close as possible to it, you know. Feeling fly, fabulous. I actually put effort into my wig. This is the same wig from yesterday. Do it look like it though? They text, they text me yesterday saying that it was an uh, insurance issue, which I'm not understanding why there's an insurance issue because it's definitely time for him to have a refill, been time for him to have a refill, so I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm going to let the process do what it do. I'll probably call them when I leave this other office and see if they can give me some kind of idea of what's going on. What else I need to take care of while I'm out? I should have called my brother before I left the house to see if he's at work today. Because one of my friends has some oil she wants him to bless. She's, uh, I don't know if she's moved in already or not. But that's the annoying friend I told y'all about. She's not annoying, but that's just what I call her. My weirdest friend. Uh, she wants her oil to be blessed. So she can pray over her house and stuff. Um, what else do I have to take care of? I've already gotten all my meds. Um, I still forgot to go. I, I forgot to bring that other stuff with me so I could run to Walmart and pick that up, but I guess I could wait until tomorrow to do that. do I need to take care of today? Oh, I, um, update on the puppy situation. Um, ended up, I had got the call back from the nurse and she talked with the doctor and they think that Sheldon is a strong candidate for a therapy dog. Praise God. Um, I know y'all probably like, since you could have just went out here and bought the dog or whatever with this and the third but there are reasons why i want to get it listed as a therapy dog um you know with that that means that he could pretty much um take his puppy anywhere um with him and it not be a problem because we'll have paperwork on him saying that he is a therapy dog and he is a companion for sheldon or whatever um I just ran that light, but thank you, my Jesus, there wasn't nobody moving, and the police were around to witness it. <laughs> Look at that, even when I'm wrong, but I was kind of at a too big of a pace to stop at that moment. But, um, yeah, so they, they deemed him a perfect candidate for it, um, but what they need in order to write the letter is another letter from the therapist saying that you know showing that basically they want i guess they want um what 
what you call it. They want evidence that the therapist said that he should um, get a puppy or whatever. But I don't really think they put that in the notes. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to have the guy over there type up a letter explaining why he feels Sheldon needs this puppy and, you know, things like that. Um, but when I called over there, the lady said that um, he wasn't in and he won't be back in until Thursday. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait until Thursday. She put it down in her notes, but she told me to call after a certain time just to give her, you know, a little reminder of that, which is no problem for me. Um, I could do that. So yeah, we'll know Thursday what they'll be, what they'll do, or what they'll be able to do for him. Um, so I'm not stressed out about that anymore. Uh, so I could go ahead and talk to the apartment manager today, or whatever. So yeah, that's it on Puppy Talk. <laughs> um, what did I finish doing yesterday? Got home eight. Uh, Shut up! Pretty much stayed in his room the whole time. He you know, came back and forth like he always do, checking on me and stuff. Um, but he was super hyped because, like I said, we're out of one of his meds that he takes in the morning. So, he was extra, extra hype. And when I say he was so hype, y'all, he couldn't even focus. And that's the medicine that is supposed to help him focus. So, he was all over the place. I was all over the place with, you know, trying to get everything situated so that he can get the puppy. And he was all over the place because he's excited about getting the puppy. And when he can't focus, he wants to talk about the show he's watching. He wants to check on me. He wants to talk about this, that, and the third. All kind of stuff. Also, let me stop and back this up. Today is the 23rd. And I just want to give a happy birthday shout out to my pops, y'all. Oh my god, my dad is 53 today, you guys, which means that I'll be 33 in a couple of months, but it's okay. That's how I keep track of his birthday, y'all, by my age. But, um, yeah, today is his birthday. He has seen 53 years on this earth, and one thing I can say about that man, you guys, a hard worker. I got my hard work from my mom, but I also got it from my dad, like... That dude is so amazing. I don't care how bad he's hurting. I don't care how sick he is. This man wants to go to work. Like, he, he's a provider. He is the perfect example of the type of man I want and require to have in my life as a companion. You know, if you can't meet the standards of my father, can't cut it like i'm sorry there is no settling there is no cutting corners when it comes down to that because one thing i could say my, i mean he has his faults everybody does but when it came to his family my dad was there you know he provided for us he made sure we we got to enjoy life you know even though he all grouch monster but i love you anyway daddy I don't know if he still watches, but <laughs> I don't think he likes to see me being emotional. And a lot of the times, what I talk about, he already know. But that that's my best friend. One of my best friends, to be told. Because I could talk to Pops about anything, and I think they may be on break. It is around 1 July. So I'm going to go run and see if they're open. But let me go run and see if they are open, you guys. Wish my dad a happy birthday down in the comments. I'll show him and let him see the love that I, I receive from you all and that y'all are willing to share that same love with him. Um, I don't know just yet what we're going to do. I know he's wanting to get away for the weekend, just him and my mom. Um, cause he's been, he, he does, um, electricity. He, uh, he's, he's a lineman. That's the proper term for him, for it. He's a lineman. Uh, he's been doing it. Oh God. For a long time. Um, I want to say over 20 years. 
I can't really pinpoint exactly how long, but um, he's been doing it for a very, very long time um, with the same company. So, you know, he's very hard work. Anytime we have storms or we have trouble or anything like that, he is out there on the front lines trying to make sure he can restore everybody's power, keep everybody safe. Um, and with this previous storm that just hit the winter storm, he pretty much worked the whole time, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to, you know, celebrate his birthday with him, give him a little something, show him that, hey, man, you deserve it, you know. I asked Sheldon about it, and Sheldon was like, uh, you know, my papa liked the country, so let's do country thing." Then he was like buying a gun. I'm like, first of all, your papa got enough of those, <laughs> um, and I can't, I can't even afford to buy me a gun. You, I can let alone buy him a gun. But uh, yeah, he, he's into like hunting and fishing. Used to back in the day, me and my brother used to do stuff like buy him fish tackle and you know fishing stuff. But I know he would love getting things like that. But I just, I don't know what to get him. So yeah. But then again, I could buy him a case of beer. He'll be happy with that, too. He ain't too hard to buy for. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but let me go ahead and run in here, y'all. All right, y'all. I am back in the car. Just got done. It didn't take me too, too long over here at this office turning in my stuff. Um, like I told y'all the other week, like two weeks ago, I came over here trying to recertify for my uh, benefits and stuff but they had a lot of people in there and um, it just I was cutting time because it was almost time for Sheldon to get off the school bus um, and then after that I had got busy with some other stuff and then last week the storm hit so I had to come back and turn that paperwork in now I just, <laughs> y'all, it just hurts my heart. And I'm trying not to cry. Keep it together, Charlene. But it hurts my heart when I see, you know, I used to work in the healthcare field, you know. I did home health for almost five years. Um, And it just hurts my heart to see a lot of those people don't have anybody. And you think about the older people, they don't have, a lot of times, they don't have anybody to help them without feeling like they're being worrisome. And a lot of this stuff, like when you're dealing with the government, a lot of that stuff can be confusing. It's I'm 32, y'all. And a lot of it be confusing for me. Like, I've been trying to recertify for a couple of weeks now, and... I had like they done switched over things with the online thing I couldn't sign into my account and stuff like that it was saying that it couldn't find me and different things like that call the number you can't get who you need to talk to it takes you around the world and then you go into the office and it's either too many people in there or the wait time is so horrible going to a government office is like going to the freaking hospital and sitting in the waiting area for hours before being seen and then they only see you for a few minutes you know what i'm saying but i was standing there and there was an older guy in front of me mr moses i hope you have the best of luck with your new card um i'm not gonna call his first name but he was standing there he went in before me and He's like telling me, you know, a little bit of why he's there and stuff. And, you know, sometimes people, they just, I don't know why, but people just start talking to me. I don't know why, because I'm not the most social. But he's standing there talking to me. He's saying about how that was his fourth card that he had to get in, in the last four months. Because, you know, every time he would go to the store to make a purchase, he would get embarrassed because they would say the car wasn't activated. And immediately in my head, I'm thinking, oh, that's not their fault. That's on you, sir. 
But I just let him continue to talk or whatever, you know, not trying to be rude because the lady was on the phone trying to get his car to where it needed to be. And, you know, he was saying about how he's been having to spend his cash on food and that doesn't leave him with a lot because he still got to pay his bills. And I can understand that, you know, you, you got a food stamp card and you don't want to have to use what cash you do have because you can't get that money back once you've spent it. You know, it's not like DCFS is going to replace the money, the cash you had to spend on, on food because there was a hiccup with the car. They're not gonna do that. And it just, it, it broke my heart because I'm sitting there thinking to myself, damn, if on that first court, if only he had somebody, and I don't know his situation, he might do have family, you know, and maybe they have told him what to do, but he just doesn't, because I could see clearly just in the office alone, he was struggling with understanding the process. And, you know, he's just telling me about how during last week, you know, he didn't have food for four days. And how he had to make flour bread just to put something on his stomach. I don't know how true that is, but y'all just hearing it is. is y'all say I'm caring and I, clearly I'm crying, but it's just the fact that in the end, all the issue was he didn't have to go through ordering that many different cards because all he had to do was activate his card, but he didn't know that. And so finally, you know, the lady got his card activated and went, let me know that even if it was somebody like me explaining it to him, he wasn't grasping it, you guys. Like, she was telling him, you know, she even asked him, you know, what you write down a four digit pen and they went through the process and did all of that. And when she gave, you know, gave him his card back and stuff like that she wrote down what his pen was and you know she let him know so then he had the question of how can i check my balance how will i know you know he asked how much was on there she was like you have to call the number on the back of the card to um get your balance and stuff and he was thinking about the pin number and so she had to physically show him this number this is the number you call to get your balance you follow the prompts And this is the number, this four digit pin is what you use when you're at the grocery store and you're making your purchase. It'll ask you for a pin and this is what you enter. So he went out before me and as I was coming out, cause it didn't take me no time. I just had to put my stuff in an envelope and put it in the box. But as I came out, I noticed he was still sitting there. You know, he was with somebody else and he that was another thing that broke my heart. Cause he was like, the street he told me he came from, Nobody should be charging you twenty dollars because that, like, that's right down the street and, and down the corner. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should be charging you twenty dollars just to make that trip. But quite naturally, people are like that. You know. So the guy charged him twenty dollars to bring him over there, and like. I'm sitting in the car getting set up because my phone died so I'm trying to let my phone get a little juice to it so I could turn the camera on and record and stuff and he gets out of the car with the guy and he's walking back towards the office so I roll my window down I say you still ain't got it I said what's going on now so he comes over to me and he's like I'm trying to check my balance but I'm not fast enough to push the buttons which I know the process you guys I don't know what he was trying to do, or maybe he missed the wrong, missed the, hit the wrong button. But I also know he had a flip phone, and you know, a lot of times with that, that could have been the case too. Maybe, you know, I don't know what, what the issue was with that, but I know the process when you call to check your balance, it it shouldn't take a whole lot to do that. So I'm like, well, let me let me try it for you gave me the card or whatever and I go through it I say you know 
it says press one for English, you know, and all of that. Then press two for, but I pressed the one, and then it asks for your card number, and that's the only thing you need is your card number, and then it'll give you your balance. So well, it'll go through the process of you know if you want to check your balance or payment history and all that. It goes through all of that. So I put his number in, his card number in, and do that process and stuff. Get him. Yeah, he got more food stamps than me. But like he said, he ain't been able to use his card in four months. So that accumulated. Plus, you know, we got disaster stamps and all of that. So, because I know with elderly people, they don't get that much of food stamps. But he had more than me. I almost started to tell him, look, you pay him $20 for bringing you old bill. Let me get about $30 in them yams, bruh. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But, you know, I did that for him. And, you know, just to look on his face, he was just, like, so grateful that I, you know, I didn't, I could have just let him went on back off in the office and let them handle it and deal with him. But, I, you know, it was just the fact that he was like, you just met me, you talked to me in there, you listened to me gripe in there, and then you still, you, you helped me, you know. But I could tell that by his by his expression that he was very grateful that I did help. You know, I also, I know an easier way you could do it because like, they also have an app to where, you know, all you have to do is click on the app, you punch in your information and save, you know, save your information on there and you go on there and check your balance. But he has a flip phone, so he wouldn't have been able to do that with the type of phone he has. And it just, it, it, it melts my heart because it's like, obviously he ain't got nobody helping him. Because that was a simple fix on both parts. And it's clear that, you know, he's not a tech-savvy person. I don't know how old he is, but he's not tech-savvy. So, it complicates it even more because he has to go through so many steps that it's hard to know what you're actually looking for, what you actually need. And it just, I don't know, man. I'm just... I just wish that there was more I could do for people like that. You know? Because it sucks. It really, really sucks. I'm sorry. I went on a big old rant about that. I'm <laughs> sorry, you guys. I don't know what they got going on. Hey, Belle. <laughs> she got that on her counter, baby. Doing her jig, her dance. so into emotions that I completely forgot where I was supposed to be going. I got that taken care of, so now I need to go and um, see if she does meds already. him over there if only he would have just asked him what he needed help with 
He probably could have helped him. He wouldn't have needed to go. He wouldn't have needed to spend his $20 for a ride. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like I suspected having insurance issues. Why? I don't know. And that's the crazy part about that, too. Medicaid, like, that that's a whole nother beast. Like, I get my insurance through Sheldon having insurance with Medicaid, okay? I got my medicine without a hitch. But I'm always having issues with Sheldon's. And that's why I said I want to switch over pharmacies because I want to switch his pharmacy to my pharmacy because, like, ever since I've been dealing with Walgreens, it's always been an issue of some kind when it comes to his medicine. When it came to my medicine, they wanted to charge me for my medicine. I go, I take my prescription and go down to Walmart and my medicines are free. Very, the very same medicines. Like, it's crazy. I don't ever have an issue. Oh, I wish I had wood, but y'all know knock on spirit wood. I have not had an issue at Walmart with my prescriptions, but I always have an issue with Sheldon's. And it can't, the, the insurance can't be saying that it's too soon to do it because we are well into a week over needing his prescription like the only thing that saved us he just ran out the other day but the only thing that saved us was because he was at home I didn't force him or make him take that one medicine. I want him to be able to enjoy himself and not, you know, always have to be on meds. But anywho, I'm having a migraine though. I'm not, it's actually not a migraine. I think it's this eye is bothering me. I think I strained my eye or something because this side is hurting. that to my hair. I pinned it down over here and got this side just flowing, you know. I actually took my time with my stocking cap. Alright, truck. Just taking the whole thing off. 
Anywho, let me go ahead, run over here, y'all, and see what they got on the menu. All right, y'all. That was my Annie, my great Annie. Hey, Aunt Tiny. Get a little bit of sale. <laughs> Well, I love seeing her though. She's always a who catching up with that thing. But y'all, I got my plate. I did the lunch special. Ooh, it's baked chicken, dirty rice. Or... All right, I'm gonna have to be quick because my thing's saying it's too hot or whatever. But it's baked chicken, dirty rice, a roll, corn, and a piece of cake. That's what it looks like. So I'm finna go ahead. Get home. Well, I'm going to first stop and get shut on something to eat. And then I'm going to get home and, um, you know, test this hat. Of course, I am going to eat it with y'all on camera when I get back home. <sighs> My phone overheating, which I should have known better. Because it was about dead. So I'm going to try to hurry up and go get y'all boys something to eat.